Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today we're going to do a little bit different. It's not a diagnosis video, it's pretty much an informational video. It is on a subject that I get a question about quite often. It is the difference between an absolute pressure sensor and a delta sensor. In other, otherwise known as a, a differential pressure sensor, a um, pressure pulse sensor. They go by different names, but... <clears throat> just to show you my setup I, I could show it to you it's kind of messy ah, let me just show it to you the setup is basically a WPS 500 with a with its air hose to a T fitting and the end of that one of the ends is basically what I'm going to be doing with my finger putting pressure uh, pulses very very light pressure pulses into the air hose and then on the other end of the T fitting is a pressure pulse sensor made by Cody Gaddy uh, from Cody's Auto Diagnostics. Um, I have another one from Michael Nicholson. I, I use them interchangeably. <clears throat> but for this video, we're using Cody's. Um, pretty happy with it. So nonetheless, they both work absolutely awesome. <clears throat> the idea behind the whole video is to show uh, the differences between the two. Uh, I could explain it to you. I could say that an absolute pressure sensor will show exactly um, what pressure it is at the time that it's reading uh, as opposed to a pulse sensor that only reads differences in pressure but to better illustrate that nothing's better than a waveform right <clears throat> to, uh, to illustrate what I'm showing here I have my WPS they're both hooked up and you can see that when I press my WPS stays up when I let go my WPS comes down. Let me put some more time on the screen for you guys to see. And I also want to, I'm at my range three at my lowest setting on the WPS 500. So when I press, let me put it up here so you guys can see. When I press it, you can see the pulse sensor jumps up and comes back down. When I let go, it jumps down and then levels out as opposed to the WPS 500 that shows absolute pressure. It shows exactly what's within the hose at the at that point in time it's a super quick video <clears throat> but one of the things that most people don't really know about is that the wps 500 could do the exact same thing as a pulse sensor um, my suggestion is to get well-rounded with both of them but in case one of them if, if your wps 500 is out of batteries you know and you don't know how to use a pulse sensor well you, you kind of there's some things you just need to know um, <clears throat> which i mentioned in my suburban video with there's some things you just gotta gotta know about that <clears throat> but let me just show you real quick what we are how we're gonna put this uh, WPS 500 in pulse sensor mode so we're gonna go into a zoom I'm gonna go all the way down to three which is its highest most sensitive setting and we're gonna press uh, run and sometimes my computer likes to do this so I'll stop it I don't know what it is if somebody knows why it stops like that for the first time please let me know and sometimes it'll just go fine so when I press it see they both resemble when I let it go they both do the same thing so the WPS 500 is an absolute sensor but at the same time digitally or electronically it does the same thing as a pressure pulse sensor exact same thing obviously the piezoelectric sensor is much more sensitive it's it, and it is much cleaner too if we go and try to clean these up both of them evenly you can see that that um that piezoelectric sensor my, my red channel is extremely clean compared to the wps 500 it's just the way things are piezoelectric sensor is extremely sensitive the wps 500 is at its highest most sensitive setting just to get this waveform that the the, the piezo sensor does with ease uh just for <clears throat> just for the kick of it i guess I'm going to go more into the voltage and see how big you can see just how much pressure it takes for that piezo sensor to react. You can really get extremely sensitive. It's even it's sensitive to movement so you have to keep that in mind. But anyway, <clears throat> that was the point of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like what you see, hit like share subscribe uh comment and until next time